Hey Minecraft, Gallen here. Today I'll be showing you how to make a zero tick jewel farm. A farm which farms both the new 1.16 weeping vines and 1.14 bamboo. So this is a farm that I'm going to be showing you how to build today. But before I show you it, I'm going to sh uh, before I show you how to build it, I'm going to show you how it works, its rates, and all the different things that you need to know about it before you build it. So to turn it on, we just have a simple little lever here with an observer clock with uh, using the old scaffolding trick for sharper timings. And if we turn it on, the farm automatically starts farming all the weeping vine and all the bamboo at the top. They all then make their way through hopper lines into, the, into these barrels for storage. But since it's barrels and hoppers, it can actually back up and overflow, which is a bit of a downside of this farm. So if you want to avoid that, you can just get creative with water streams and other things. But for now, let's talk about rates. So running this farm for a minute will give you about 579 weeping vines and 808 bamboo if you run this farm for a minute. Uh, times, uh, times that number by six and you get about, this is uh, about the uh, amount of weeping vines you get in a minute. And this is about the amount of bamboo you get in a minute. Times those numbers by six, uh, times those numbers by 60, you get 48, 1480 bamboo per hour and you get 34,740 weeping vine per hour it's a very efficient farm and i'm going to show you how to build it but just keep in mind when i show you how to build it i'm only going to be showing you how to build one half of the farm then you can just mirror the same half onto the other side and you'll have the exact same farm to start you'll just want to place your building block right on the ground and place a lever on top of that and you'll have a sticky piston to the uh, south, to uh, where you were placing, uh, where you were uh, behind the block. And then you want to place an observer facing towards the lever. Use a temporary block here and place an observer there. Next, what you want to do is you want to place a block behind it and take a repeater, set it to two ticks. Grab another observer, make it read this uh, repeater. Place a trap door behind this uh, observer and place two scaffolding on top of the observer and trap door. Then you want to place an observer on top of the uh, repeater and put a rail on top of that and go to out. Then you'll have uh, your uh, activator rails or or your uh, powered rails. You can go between powered rails or activator rails. You could even use redstone dust, but since redstone dust is very laggy, uh, I definitely wouldn't suggest it if you're playing on a multiplayer server. So next, what you want to do is you want to place another observer here with and some with, us, with your building block there and place another rail on top of that. Next, you want to place two observers here. And then you want to have a building block right next to here and go out nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And just cover those blocks in rails. Next, you want to place observers on top of the observers here and some pistons here. Next, you want to count two blocks and place an observer. Two blocks, place an observer. Two blocks, place an observer. And just place sticky pistons on top of those observers. Now place some. Now do the exact same on the other side. Sticky pistons. And now for this bit, you want to place observers one block above the sticky piston in the air so just do the same on each of the sides and your farm should look something like this next you want to place some sticky pistons next to these sticky pistons that are above the observers and then fill the gaps in with some more sticky pistons. Once you're done with that, you'll want to take a, a grass block or a dirt block. I'll just be using a dirt block. Um, I'm sorry, I mean grass. And then just put two of them in front of any side of the pistons. It really doesn't matter. The farm will automatically set itself. And now you want to place some solid blocks uh, right below these uh, observers. Now, uh, this is important to make the action to make the zero tick actually work. You want to take some note blocks to update these uh, to update these pistons to actually zero tick it. 
Uh, you don't need to put note blocks here, uh, but adding these note blocks will update these pistons and make the entire farm non-directional, so it doesn't matter where, what location you build it in and what direction. Next, uh, to cancel out the annoying sound of the note blocks, you can place some buttons on top of here. I definitely suggest the buttons because it will be uh, it will come clear at some uh, later on. And then next, you want to take a sticky piston, place it in front of this observer here, take a slime block, and just cover this side with it. Once you've done that, you can actually get started with placing your uh, bamboo. You can place it here. Now, before you run the farm, you should make sure that all the bamboo has at least grown into a stem like that. Or, if you don't want to wait, you can just place some more bamboo on top of that to force grow the bottom one into a stem. Now, here is uh, to just keep all the items in its place, you want to place some glazed terracotta on top of the uh, slime, on top of the bamboo. Place one to the side right here. And another one here. This is just to keep the bamboo from going anywhere so that we can all pick it up in the pot in the collection system. Now, for the actual collection system, we'll be just be using a normal barrel or chest. I think for this machine, I'll just use a double chest here. And now you want to take some hoppers and just go along the entire line placing them. Now, to keep the uh, bamboo from not flying everywhere. We'll just cover it up in some blocks. Doesn't have to be glass, but I'm just using it so we can actually see what happens. Just cover this entire top bit here and place the glass on top of the chest. And your farm should start looking like this. Now, for the bottom bit, it's a, quite simple. All we need to do is place some observers reading all these rails and including this observer down here. So just do as I do and cover this up with some observers. Now here, you'll want to use some pis uh, pistons in, uh, in front of these observers, so that it will actually activate when uh, the observers detect that the rails have changed. So now, what you want to do is grab your actual weeping vines, and place it right below the block where the bamboo is. Just cover it up, and you should be good. Now, again, we're going to make sure, try to make sure that the weeping vine can actually escape, so I'm just going to cover this area with some glass. And once you've done that, you can also place some glass on top of the scaffolding. It won't actually affect it. Now here, we want to place our little uh, tiny chests here, just for simple, just for a little simple um, actual story system. It doesn't have to be permanent, but it works. Now just cover the line in hoppers, and your new farm is completely done. So, now that your farm is done, you have all the bamboo and weeping vines that you could ever possibly wish for. If, if this happens, uh, so I just turned the farm on, all the bamboo and stuff broke. That's completely fine, it just happens sometimes for the first time if you turn on the machine. But all you have to do is just put all the bamboo and stuff back, and then it will work fine. If I turn it on, we can see that the farm is producing bamboo and automatically farming it, and we can see that it's also doing the same for the weeping vine. I've just showed you how to make a nice bamboo and weeping vine farm for the 1.16 snapshot 20W06A. It will also work in the new, in the later 1.16 snapshot since it's zero tick technology and, and Mojang doesn't really have any intent on patching the bug. It's fine though, so you should be able to build this in your future in the future when 1.16 is officially out. But if you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button. And if you really loved it, do consider subscribing. It helps the channel and me personally. And also, I have a Patreon in case you want to donate. It really, really helps the channel and it enables me to get better hardware and software for my videos so that I can make it a lot better quality. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.